guys, Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Asteroid in Love. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> and you two are I wonder if those are going to be added in the opening now since they were in last week. I think it would make sense to put them in the opening this time. I mean, well, that's good, though. I mean, it's nice to have it now and then later. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> of course.
playing in handcuffs. Hmm. Well, damn. It is. Look at that, you. Yeah. It can, it's just you guys need something just to boost yourself. Yeah, right, how you feel? That's a good idea. <laughs> of course. Because, you know, a teacher thinking about free food. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, but do you think marshmallows are gonna make her happy? I mean, yeah, you can make some with them, but still. <laughs> Station. See, now that Suzu cut her hair and her hair is the same length as her sister, it's a little bit harder to tell between the two. <laughs>
Well, let's see. Let's see the grilled onion. Oh my god. You know how when you ate and then you watch an anime and they have really good food and then you're suddenly hungry again? Yeah. How can you be so sure about that? <laughs> okay. So cute and adorable. I But it's not dreaming. You're right about that. <laughs> It's okay, but you know a lot. <laughs> These two. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, he's so cute. Seriously? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, did you have different kind of shells? Of course. Thinking about stuff at the end of the day. No, ow. I think so too. Oh, 
And oh yeah. Yeah, she's probably so upset about it, but she's happy that you get to go. She's got to be happy for you. She can't show that she's upset. <laughs> few days could be a whole episode in this term That's what I want to know. And y'all gonna wait till next week to explain. Hold up. So maybe she just wants to go with her for mental support or something? I don't know. Girl, how in the world did you get on the plane and not have her recognize you on the dang plane? Something about that ain't right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys, okay. I am sad that only one of them passed and one failed, but I think in a way they needed this isolation. But no, here comes Al, her girlfriend, to come and save everything and have them be together no matter what. But I still think it's good. Um, you are an enemy and Sakura sister. I love them both, but I think I love Sakura a lot more because she's just so adorable. She's different. They're both different from everybody. Sakura's younger sister kind of reminds me of Safiya and Kaguya from I Got Two Friends. Honestly. She's more, really almost, not even them, not only them, but almost any type of gothic idol who's big and I cut to. Because just you know, the way she is and her fortune telling and everything. But she's cute. She's adorable, though. Her outfits are pretty and I want them really bad. I'm like, oh my god. But it was nice. Even to have, like, their senpais call them and say it's okay. I wanted to cry, really, Jesus, I couldn't, because it's too emotional, but inside I was crying, it was a hot mess, but it was a really nice episode, I mean, I do love the fact that, like, ASAP, they got two new members, and one's, you know, a family member, and the other one's just someone who's new, who was at their, um, their, uh, their festival, their booth from last year, and it's interesting, but now the biggest thing is, Al is doing, not Al, Mirai, is doing stuff on her own, but she's still doing it for the club. And now, why in the world is Al here? That's the biggest question. I mean, seriously, girl, how in the world did you get past her not knowing that you were also going? <laughs> oh my nose. I don't know. I mean, she had. There has to be another reason why she's there. Maybe last minute she got told on the phone that she was also passing as well. And so maybe that's why she's here. She still could be there for emotional support. Maybe because of the fact is um, she couldn't go a couple of days just being without her at home. So she was just like, screw it, I'm coming too. But I think it's nice. It's just, I hope next week we get a little explanation on that. Because you popping up in the last few minutes of this episode, it seems a little weird to me. And you know, not explaining what just happened. That's a little weird. I think it would be weird to literally anyone, but hey, we're not going to know until next Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Asteroid and 11. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.